Again, some district is comprised of both hilly and flat land areas. This small sub district is home to 31 ethnic minority groups. Nobody cares about these people. Much of this sub district is surrounded by tea gardens. Working from dawn to dusk gets them a wage of 28 taker. The most we can pay is 69 taker. What can they do about water? sanitation and hygiene with a wage of 69 take up a day there was a time when the perception was that tea gardens belonged to the company the workers also belonged to the company so it would not be right for the government to provide any support or assistance here the company always tries to provide the best service but in many cases this is not possible it was a rule once to invest in sanitation sector on our 20 percent of db 10% to 20% of the total allocated money just comes to 30 to 40,000 taker. There is no scope to improve sanitation with this amount of money. That the government has taken are not sufficient for us. The spring water. This is what we use to wash our clothes, our dishes. Often, we would drink it too. We faced many problems after drinking it, but we did not know for why were happening. They did not know what pure water was, what safe water was. They did not know anything about water safety plan. They had a cultural practice of going to the field together in a group and then get down on the stream together to clean themselves. Then they would collect water from the same stream and drink it. Although we are monopoly, we stay neat and clean, but we were not in the habit of using soap. When I was chairman for the first time, or even in my second term, I noticed that people in this area would frequently be affected with diarrhea. Sores would develop on our hands and feet, and various stomach problems, as well as jaundice and other waterborne diseases. Widespread diarrhea was common before. Whenever someone fell ill, the family members become occupied with that person. If there was no money, we could not get treatment. We would have to suffer for many days. Water Project is water and hygiene for tea pickers and ethnic minority in rural Bangladesh. Our project commenced on June of 2002. To execute this we formed various groups. Among these there were also neighborhood committees. We revealed the humanity in ourselves. We go from door to door and para to para through courtyard meetings. To make them aware that if you can spend 200 to 250 taker, then we can provide the system for building a hygienic latrine. We formed 42 committees, most of them in the tea gardens surrounded areas. We formed garden wash committees in each tea garden in this area. These garden wash committees and para committees will implement the plan and monitor the progress. We, the healthcare workers, go from queue to queue to tell the people to practice these habits. We started to go to every household to monitor the latrines and the tube wells. Uh, in the past, many NGOs had provided latrines and gave money to the people so that they set up hygienic latrines. But the people did not use these. After Idea explained to them, they started making. No matter how many times we ask them not go to outside to defecate, they pay no heed to our request unless we train them firsthand. After learning everything, we now use safe water and hygienic latrines. Because of this, we don't have any troubles like before. We 
used to drink polluted water before. Now we don't tea. We drink safe water. We don't use the water of the ponds anymore. We use the tube well. We use hygienic latrines. We used to go to the latrines barefooted. We didn't know that soap was meant for using in our hands. But now we use the soap and also wear sandals when we go to the bathroom. We do not get patients with waterborne disease here anymore. We used to drink water from well before. We had many problems drinking that water. After we got the ring wall, we were benefited. 18 households use this wall. If people do not wash their hands before they eat, germs enter their stomach. It has been very profitable. People think that if here is such arrangement on the outside, then the inside will be even cleaner. That's why people come here and I come to good business. Before only 35% of the people use latrines, whereas now 75% of them use latrines. 27-28% of people consumed safe and pure water before, and now the figure is 65-67%. session here and child groups. We run some sessions on the community level. Our child group gets playing equipment and educational books. On the courtesy of WRCA, our volunteers, and UF here are guided to ensure that the children can learn and know a lot of things. Not only kids, I also teach the teenage girls about hygiene. We have schools where we have built sanitation facilities for the children. We also made separate arrangements for boys and girls. <laughs> I am not an actor in TV dramas, nor an actor in films. I am just an actor in a simple theater group in the tea gardens. If my performance goes well, I feel very good. We have provided 19 disabled latrines. 96 people are using these latrines. Now a person has developed an understanding what safe water means. We have avoided many problems by using safe water and hygienic latrines. I did the work which was supposed to be done by us. We appreciate this on behalf of the company. There is no denying that after identifying the complete problem, the work has been done successfully, which benefited my union. If I can hire a healthy worker, his concentration will be more towards his work. Of course, the production has increased. Compared to the previous year, the production has increased by 10% this year. Sanitation usage was only 20%. This was not enough and totally negligible. I believe with your support and the combined efforts of LGSP and LDP, water sanitation has transformed as a big fund. In coming June we will take action on this on our budget. The primary objective of IDEA Water Project is to ensure 100% sanitation and safe water for this neglected community in the future. Do